Hello everybody, it's Theresa here. Um, today I'm going to be doing a uh, soap for the uh, 7th Soaping 101 Challenge. Um, and it is called the Sunset Spectrum. Um, Kathy from Soaping 101 and Clyde from Vibrant Soap have both done a um, their edition of the soap. Um, basically, it's a based off of a photograph um, by a gentleman with the title of Sunset Spectrum. It's a beautiful. Uh, it looks like to be a farm house set way off in the distance and you can see the dark green um, fields and the sky as these jagged clouds with beautiful colors like yellow and there's like an orangish pink and purples and blues so and our challenge is to do our uh, best to recreate that in a soap and um, I will link to Kathy's video, which is the Soaping 101 video, Clyde and Vibrant Soap's video, and I will also try to link to the actual photo, the website where the photo is listed, because I do not have permission to put that photo in this video. Um, it is, however, in both Clyde's and Kathy's videos at Vibrant Soaps and Soaping 101. Okay, so... We're going to get started. I'm going to do something a little different today. I usually add my fragrance oils in later, right before I pour. Um, but Kathy uh, added her fragrance oil into her oils before she added her lye. And she said that it was to uh, help stop a surprise um, acceleration. And since I'm planning on trying to use squeeze bottles for this soap. I really need to know whether or not this soap is going to get thick before I start putting them in the bottles. Because if it gets hard in those bottles, I'm never getting it out. And I'm using a fragrance oil I've never used today, which is Honeysuckle from, um, this is from candlemaking.com. And, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to use that, and I've never used it before, so I don't want to uh, risk um, putting it in the bottles and then having it get hard. My oils and lye are both under 96 degrees. My lye mixture are both under 96 degrees. Um, I'm not a room temperature soaper, but I do like to soap below 96 degrees. So, all right. Oops. Little splash. I'm gonna pop this out. I'm gonna get my fragrance oil open if I can. Always when you open your fragrance oils, I, I have had it a couple happen a couple of times, but when you open your fragrance oils, open them away from the pot because sometimes there's usually this little uh paperish type mat at the top of these, and sometimes well, I don't think this one has it, but from some uh uh suppliers they have a little paper thing over them that isn't really secure and it'll fall under your oil so where do the eyes open it off <laughs> I'm just gonna get that in there and I haven't put my lie in but everything else all my additives all right so we're gonna in there. mix this up but I'm not I don't want to take it far I don't want to take this soap to um, I don't even really want it to touch trace I'm always left feeling like I'm not emulsified enough. I know I am, but it's just a fear of mine, I suppose. I don't really want my soap separating on me. So I'm like, oh no, I'm not emulsified. And then I overdo it and I'm at medium trace and I'm like, well, there goes that plan. So let's avoid that today, shall we? All right. So I'm going to put this start mixing up my colors. 
And I'm going to start at a, about a half a cup per color. All right, so some colorant on the side. I need to get make sure this is really well blended. This smells fantastic. All right, um, pop that back into the yellow. I'm actually not going to do um, a drop swirl with these colors. I am going to attempt to, well, I may end up doing somewhat of a drop swirl, but I'm, I'm going to attempt to not do a drop swirl. It's just a little thicker than I had intended. I hope you can see. I'm trying to make it so that you can see. Whoops. i got to get that green off there. All the green is going to be at the base. There's no green in the top. I'm going to swirl this just a bit with my skewer. Just to get them mixed in a little. And then we're going to start with the other colors. It's still horrible. It's not seized in any shape, form of, of the imagination. So, I may actually try to get these into the bottles because that's kind of my ideal here, idea here, is to have them into the bottles. So we're going to get going. Alright, so it's going to be... Hmm, yellow. This was a bad idea. 
I should have just poured it. Yellow. Orange. Now probably gonna fast forward because all the banging. Alright, so everything has gotten so hard in the bottles, I cannot push it out. It's getting splattery. So, I'm going to go back. I'm going to swirl this, and then I'm going to pause, try to get what's left in this bottles out so I can put it on top. But I want to uh, swirl this just a bit. And it's probably going to be a really bad idea. But I don't think this is going to be my challenge soap. So, because <laughs> I don't perceive this being very beautiful at all. I really need to pound it. Because I'm pretty sure there's air bubbles in there. Alright, so I am going to pause you and I'm going to try to get some of the soap out of these bottles. Okay, so right I managed to get some of the soap out of the containers. And even though I like this, obviously that it's not tall enough. So um, I am going to sacrifice the design for height because I don't like to waste ingredients. Alright, so I'm just going to swirl them together. It's going to be a very rough swirl, but that's okay. I like that rough texture. It is actually something that I have wanted in some of my soaps. Not necessarily this one, but some of them. Run this down the sides. Try to seal up those sides a little. Okay, so 
that's going to be that. And I wasn't actually going to add any glitter. But since the top doesn't exactly look how I had intended, I'm going to add glitter. Because glitter makes everything better. No, it doesn't. That's just something they tell you in soapy class. No. <laughs> Trying to get the lid off. My gloves are covered in soap. All right. So, there we have it. That is my Sunset Spectrum soap. It should be ready to cut tomorrow, and it's probably going to gel because it warmed up so much. So, um, I am going to pop it in the oven like every other thing I make, and we will see you next time. Okay, we're back. We're going to cut this soap. For you, it's been just a few seconds. For me, it's been overnight. The soap has sat in the oven and rested so we're going to see what is inside it from the way it feels I can tell that it gelled hopefully it's not a partial gel but we will see so we're gonna cut off a little bit off the end here let's see what we've got just a reminder in case you skip to the end uh, this is a my sunset spectrum um, entry and it is scented with honeysuckle and it is not quite what I had in mind but it is rather unique looking so not exactly sure that I am in love with it but it is definitely not something that I've seen before <laughs> I may be trying this challenge one more time before I actually make an entry. Uh, this video may be titled, Try One. <laughs> okay, let's do a full bar and we'll see what we get. You never know. Okay, it looks much, uh, or very similar to the last one. The first cut. Definitely not the sunset spectrum that I was looking for. This looks closer than the actual other parts. So, oh well. <laughs> My sunset spectrum is just a little different than yours. So there you have it. That is my Sunset Spectrum soap. Uh, it may or may not be my entry. I don't know. Um, we will see. The challenge, if you're a soaper and you're interested in the challenge, the challenge runs until the 25th. And we're allowed to obviously, well, I don't know. No, it's not obvious, but we're allowed to make, as far as I know, um, as many of these we want. And then settle on one to enter all right so this video is long enough i won't jibber jabber or dilly daddle so thank you for watching happy soaping bye bye